Hi, in this video we will talk about conditional error messages uh, using yup inside Formic. Uh, if you use a validation schema, a yup validation schema, uh, normally what happens is that um, these uh, run all the time. You can, uh, these validation checks run all the time. So if I don't specify, for example, validate on blur, false, validate, uh, validate on change, false, etc then these will uh, run every time uh, a value is changed or you know a blur happens etc so as of right now i've just created a schema with the name property i'm saying that it should be a string um it is required and it should have a minimum of two characters and a maximum of 70 characters and this is the field uh, which is corresponding to the name property it's a regular text field and I'm displaying the error messages using the error messages component Formic provides us. So if I look at it right now, and you know I uh, focus the input on blur, then you know the touch property for the particular uh, name uh, will become true, and it would show that you know name is required. If I write at least one character, then this message would disappear, and it would say too short because it uh, should have a minimum of two characters if i specify that and you know i exceed the 70 character limit then it says too long now a lot of times um in complex forms you face scenarios where you want to apply con uh, validations conditionally for example you have uh, two fields and you know you and these two fields appear uh, you know, in a toggling fashion like you know maybe one appear field appears sometimes and the other field is not visible and vice versa and you want to apply validation conditionally based on which field is visible or you know you have some other condition where it's saying that um, if the uh, there are three radio options and if the radio option um, one is selected then you know uh, the validation should be applied or certain validations should be applied otherwise no validation should be applied etc so you know, you know many other scenarios so yup provides us a way to do that um, uh, which is called the when function so let's um, try to uh, apply that so i copy this particular schema which i want to apply validation schema and then what i would do is i would chain a function when when takes in two um, params the first is the thing which I want to check, the property which I want to check before, uh, you know, on which, uh, let's say for it's a checkbox and, you know, I uh, want that if when that is true, I want to apply the validation, then I would write the name of that particular property here. If it's, you know, a text input, um, then, you know, the name of that property. Uh, so right now I don't have any field. So let's... Uh, remove that and uh, let's add a property here so uh, let's say i have a boolean value apply validation which is initially false so let's add a checkbox using the field component so field type is equal to checkbox and name is equal to apply validation And basically what I want is when I click on the checkbox and it's true, then the validation should be applied, otherwise not. So what I will do is because the uh, property name for this particular checkbox is apply validation, I would as a first param say apply validation. So apply validation and a callback, which would give me the schema. So now I have to, uh, I get two things here. First, the value of the particular property I wrote here. So apply validation will give me uh, the value of the apply validation property in the first param of this function. And schema is the schema uh, which is currently present. So for now, right now it's the cup.string. So what I can do is if um, apply validation then I should return schema 
schema dot min max required so if uh, apply validation is true then i should return it otherwise i should return the schema which is already pre is present so if i check it right now you know, i focused and blurred the output nothing happened i am you know pressing characters nothing is happening at uh, the main validation nor the max validation or the required validation nothing is being uh, you know working but when i check the box uh, the apply validation checkbox it goes in the when clause it sees that the apply validation is true it basically sees the property apply validation it passes the value here i am checking if apply validation is true because the checkbox is um, uh, basically, basically checked so the apply validation is true and now i'm returning the schema with these additional chain validations um, otherwise i'm returning the uh, old schema so right now if i you know now type more than 70 characters it says too long if i type um, uh, more less than two characters it says uh, too short and if i don't write any character it says name is required but if i you know uncheck it then all the validations are gone and it's a very powerful feature yup provides and it uh, uh, integrates very nicely with formix so you can make very complex forms with validations based on conditions and based on you know uh, input value of various input fields so i hope you like the tutorial if you like any further formic or your tutorials you can subscribe to the channel also you can like and comment and subscribe and uh, i'll see you in the next one